Hey guys, I'm Ava, and let's talk about Pokemon. Today, like in the last video, we are going to be looking at some singles prices. This time it is for the newest Pokemon set, which is Brilliant Stars. This actually might be the most interesting uh, to me. I think the results from this are very surprising, actually. So I think a lot of people think Brilliant Stars is inferior to Evolving Skies. Personally, I disagree, but I can understand why people think that, because there are a lot of cards that are over $100 in that set. So it is a very top-heavy set, whereas I think Brilliant Stars is actually a much more well-rounded set, which we are going to be talking about today. So as you can see, the most expensive card from Brilliant Stars is going to be that Charizard V Alternate Full Art, but interestingly, it's not actually the rarest. So for this video, our pull rate data is going to be from TCG Player Infinite. This is from 10,000 packs, so I would say that it's a fairly reliable source. As you can see, the rarest card is actually going to be that gold Arceus V Star, which is worth a decent amount, but not nearly as much as either of those Charizards. But these are actually fairly easy to pull. One in 500 packs, that's not that rare. That's going to be about one in every 12 booster boxes or so, maybe 13. But that's definitely not that rare. And the second most expensive card is actually even more common. It is one in 415, so that is not that hard to pull. We've seen in a lot of other sets, some of these chase cards are more like one in a thousand. For example, the Rainbow Pikachu card I know is very, very difficult to pull, whereas these are not, and there are also multiple chase cards. So because of this, because it is very easy to pull something at least decent in a Brilliant Stars pack, you can see here that the hit rate, including the Trainer Gallery, Ultra Rare and Up for all of these, of course, is 44%, which is actually insane. For Fusion Strike from TCG Player, they had one in five, so it's the same source, but the different set. So Brilliant Stars is a really great set to actually open. It's very fun to open, in my opinion, and also you actually can pull some decent things. So you can actually see that the value of an average box with code cards is going to be $157. This is like absolutely crazy to me. The market price of the box is only going for about $130. So your average gain over time, if you say opened 100 of these, would on average be 21%. There are a few caveats of that, so let's talk about those. First off, these are TCG player market prices. These are pulling in real time. However, Brilliant Stars is a new set, so these are changing constantly. Some of these might be a little high. For example, I think the Charizard V alternate full art might be going for closer to 185 right now. And also keep in mind that this set is new, so these prices are most likely going to continue to go down for a little while. So I think that you might want to be cautious with opening these if you aren't planning on selling the cards right away. And again, we've talked about this, but in the long run, sealed products will always outperform. So I think that this is a very, very interesting result to see that it is actually worth more on average if you open it up whereas we saw with evolving skies it definitely was not feel free to check that video out you guys but brilliant stars is really interesting in that you can actually make a profit opening these which is insane and i'm talking about market price so if you are paying closer to something more like wholesale we're not going to go quite that low but let's say you paid a hundred dollars for your box that's going to be a 58% profit, which is actually crazy to me, um, but Brilliant Stars, it just goes to show what a great set it is. I think that it is better than Evolving Skies, and I think in the long run, it will do very, very well, so I would definitely recommend picking up some, because Brilliant Stars has a lot of Charizard cards in it, right? The set that had the most Charizards, aside from this, is probably Flashfire, and that set is doing very, very well. I think a booster box of it is going for like $2,500 right now, which is a lot more than other XY era sets, but I'm not surprised because uh, it has so many great cards in it, and this set is far better than Flashfire in my opinion. The Trainer Gallery really, really sets it apart. Not only does it have a lot of valuable cards, it also adds to the desire to open it, and I think more people are going to be opening this than things like Evolving Skies because it is more fun to open. So these actually come in the reverse slot, so you have the chance to pull something in them in addition to that, which is very, very cool to me. So if we look at where most of the value from our box is coming from, a lot of it is going to be from these top hitters. So for whatever reason, TCG Player gave the top 9 cards, which is kind of annoying to me because I feel like they really should have done top 10 to be a nice round number. But you can see that these are all their pull rates from 10,000 packs, so these are the most reliable that we're going to get. These are all incredibly common for being chase cards and for having so many good ones. So these all will add up to about $50 in total. You can see that Charizard V and the uh, Charizard V Star are going to make up $30 on average, but that's because it's not that hard to pull either of them. If you open up, say, seven booster boxes, 
you're most likely going to pull at least one of them, which is very, very solid for pull rates, especially because there are a lot of other desirable cards on this list. And then a lot of your value is also going to be coming from these secret cards because Brilliant Stars has so many great cards. There are the gold legendary bird cards, which are just so good and like not even talked about nearly as much because this set just has so many bangers in it. I really love this set. Also, don't forget if you like this video, you should subscribe and also check out my Patreon in the description. I've started making some exclusive posts on there. Your average value. A lot of this is going to be coming from that trainer gallery. You can see here, $36 are going to be coming from that trainer gallery. And that is why Brilliant Stars is so unique. Hopefully sets going forward are gonna continue to have this because it makes it so much easier to make your money back. And in the long run, these sets will perform very, very well. Compare them to Cosmic Eclipse, which has the closest type of a set list to this because they had all of those character rare cards. And you'll see that that set did very, very well out of all the Sun and Moon sets. It is doing the best along with Team Up. You can see my Sun and Moon video to actually get more details on that. But just know that Cosmic Eclipse does very, very well. It actually also has kind of similar chase cards because it revolved around Arceus, Palkia, and Dialga. And this one, of course, has Arceus as the main chase card. But again, this is a very, very good set. I would just recommend to you guys to pick up some of this set. I'm not saying you have to do it right now. I think that it will definitely get cheaper. 130 I think is actually also a little generous for the market price right now, but that's based off of TCG Player as of when I am filming this, which is March 19th, 2022. You can definitely find it cheaper elsewhere. Uh, if you keep your eye out on Reddit, they will definitely be able to provide you some better deals. I've seen it going for more like 115, which is definitely more reasonable. And you can also get the ETB at MSRP very easily. And as of a couple days ago, at the very least, the Pokemon Center ETB was in stock. So this set is really great because it's not so top heavy. I think that the value is going to be much more evenly distributed throughout different boxes. So we talked about in our Evolving Skies video last time how there are a lot of really good cards, but the odds of you having a having a mid-tier box aren't that high. You're either going to make a lot or more likely lose a lot. Whereas this set, you can see it doesn't have that many cards that are over $100. It only has two, right? But it has 32 cards that are over $10. And keep in mind that these include the Trainer Gallery, which are much, much easier to pull. You can see that the V, V Maxes or Trainers are 1 in 18, and those are going to be your most expensive cards in this set. These ones are pretty much all going to be the Trainers, Vs, or V Maxes. You can see that they are pretty valuable on average. They average for over $10 a piece. And with this statistic, 1 in 18, that is the same as 2 in 36. You are going to average two of these per box. And then also the non V or V Max or Trainer is 1 in 8. So you're going to average, I believe, 4.5 if my math is correct. And that means that you will be getting about. $15 out of these, maybe more like 12 to 15. So that is not bad at all. You're going to get like $30 or more value out of those on average per box. And that's fairly reliable and fairly consistent. You also have a fairly decent chance to pull at least one of these top cards. So if you add all of these up, the average booster box is more likely than not going to have it. You can see this right here is 73%. So 73% of boxes on average are going to have these. Keep in mind, this is all averages. And again, keep in mind that these prices might be a bit high, particularly for those expensive cards that are going to be fluctuating a lot and they are likely to go down. However, in the long run, the set will definitely go up. So I think this is a great set to pick up. If you are debating this and Evolving Skies, if you are able to find Brilliant Stars for closer to 115 versus paying, you know, 140 for Evolving Skies, I would definitely recommend Brilliant Stars over it. And I would definitely recommend in particular the Pokemon Center ETB. First of all, we've talked about how great of investments they are. And second of all, they look amazing. I love the Brilliant Stars ETB. It is so gorgeous. If you guys enjoy these videos, by the way, they do take me quite a while to make. And I have also made a Patreon, which will be linked in the description of this video. Feel free to support me on there. It would really mean a lot. You don't have to, of course. I have started actually making some Patreon exclusive posts though. But like always, this at the very least will be available for you to download absolutely for free in the description. I want to be able to keep those free, but if you do want to support me, I would really appreciate it. You can do so on Patreon. Thank you so much. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you guys enjoy this video, comment what you want to see next, and give this video a like. And I just want to give a huge thank you to my first patrons, Nobu, Absent Gale, and of course, The Squandering of My Life. 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.